University of Miami baseball program has deep roots, you know, everywhere. The Major League Baseball and the college stage, period. The tradition, just so much tradition here in Miami under Coach Morris. When you first step on the field, you think about all the greats that have been here, and you know, you just want to try to be a little piece of that to add on to the history of the Miami Hurricane baseball program. I'm playing the outfield, and sometimes in between pitches, I turn around and look, and I can see a picture on the outfield while the team's celebrating national championships. It just drives you. That's our goal every year. That's our goal every year is to go to Omaha because that's where we belong. Miami baseball is in a league of its own. It's like a different brand of a ball player when you're a Miami Hurricane. Hey guys, let me have your attention. Miami's big because we always do the little things. We have to do the little things. This weekend, every game came down to the ninth <coughs> inning that we could have won or lost, right? The focus on the small things in the game are the things that are going to make us successful at the next level. The game's more like the pro game. It's more like the wood bats. Traditionally, college baseball has been a power sport. High scoring games, a lot of home runs, but you know, in the recent year was with the bat change and those new regulations, it's brought the game into more of a focus, more like professional baseball because there's a lot of tactical stuff that we have to do to make the adjustment from having those other bats with more pop in them. Button one guy over or putting a ball in play or turning a double play or, or having a bunt defense executed offensively or defensively right. It puts more emphasis on that part of the game. You try to break it down, you know, whether it's pitching or hitting or defense. Defense is key nowadays and making sure you do all the little things where you get the bunt down when you're supposed to, move the runner over when you're supposed to, you know, it's all about execution. Palmer, you're at first base. Just all little things, but it ends up being a big thing, moving a runner over from second to third that maybe we score a run because of that. It doesn't show up in the column, but you got a base hit. But you did something for the team that helps us win the game. Here we go. Make sure you move. You anticipate you're going to cut that ball now. The most amazing thing is, is how much he actually works with all the guys. Second to second, third to home. Ready to go. At the end of the day, that's what you want as a ball player is you want somebody that's going to, you know, be a perfectionist with you, that's going to want to work with you no matter what, and is going to tell you what you need to work on because he knows how good you can be. Throw him a couple dirt balls sometime during the two minutes. He really cares about all of us, and he's hard on us, too. Got to turn him game like Jared. You ain't throwing one ball hard. It takes time, and it takes some maturity to realize, you know, what he's doing. But, you know, what a great coach. It's interesting, and, you know, I was a head coach when I was 24 years old, so I've been a head coach a long time in college. And uh, I thought when I first started coaching, my purpose was to develop guys for professional baseball. But really, my purpose and it should be to develop guys to be successful in life. You see these guys, you know, Major League Baseball players on TV, and you don't really analyze them, you know, as complete, like, human beings. You just see, like, what they're doing on the field. But, you know, to be successful at that high of a level in every aspect, you know, that's what they're trying to create. It works up the middle of the game. It works. You get them over. When a player at the University of Miami puts on a uniform, it's a certain standard that's expected on the field, off the field. Hold up! If you're playing baseball under three, Jim Morris, you gotta make sure you're on time. You can't be late. Time management was something, was something huge. Um, it was like a shock for me. One thing that uh, they focus on a lot is our grades, you know, making sure we're doing good in school and, you know, doing everything we can do to get our degree. It's the same way in the classroom. Like, you want to be on time, especially you want to make a good impression to your teacher. Well, I think that, you know, learning discipline and being on time and doing the things you have to do is going to make you a successful player. And I think that's why there are more college guys in the major leagues than guys that sign out of high school, just because they learn to do what they have to do when they have to do it, whether they want to do it or not. Being able to, like, split your time like that. So that's something that's really, really important, especially in the business world and, um, you know, down the road in life, just, you know, just more ways that we're being prepped, you know, for the next step. Many people like to hire ex-athletes because they know they work hard, they know they're competitive, they know they learn to do these little things. He installs us that we focus, he tells us every day that we need to focus. Every game, we give our best effort. So we focus on the baseball field and wherever you're at in the real world. If you're in a job, you need to focus on what you're doing, get it done. Since you know, I've been in Miami, we've had, of course, a lot of major leaguers, and those guys get a lot of attention. But let's talk about the doctors. Let's talk about the lawyers. Let's talk about the business guys. Let's talk about the teachers. Let's talk about all those other guys, too, that learn the same thing 
that helped organize them to be successful in life. Hey! I would say Coach Morris, if we break it down to Omaha, and that's because that's the on the field goal, but off the field, you know, he wants you to become responsible and a man. First pitch is bunted right to Brad Fieger, who bear fans it and fires on over to first. You know, they look at the potential in someone. Boy, B, that boy. Because for the more Major League Baseball players they produce, you know, coming out of this program, that's, that's not their top priority. They want to create good people. You know, they want to create good fathers, good employees, people that are really committed, you know, and want to do well um, in the world and make a big and make a big impact. And these are the little things Coach Morris talks about all the time is being able to execute small ball. Job by Garrett Kennedy moving Trez Gallo to third base. The world's much bigger than baseball, and they understand that. They're serious about it, you know, and they take it to heart. So it's it's special to be a part of.